There's a lot of blood stain. Where? Wait, no, 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 don't rest at the freaking bonfire. Get up. I want to view all these blood stains and see how many people tried to go across the bridge and then accidentally fell. Okay, that just, that was silly. You, you, you just jumped off that one. Failed the jump. Okay. Failed. <laughs> you slid. I find it so funny that there are so many people who just die here. <laughs> Especially around that corner right here because there's a little gap where you can just accidentally slip and fall. Oh, I will never, ever get tired of just watching bloodstains of people eating themselves into the drink. There he goes. Ironic death in three, two, one says tree jam. I will not fall to my own death. Excuse me. Um, but before we continue on going up to the mountaintop of the giants, getting the flame of the first kiln or whatever the heck it is, I've got a couple of things that I need to do. Like go here and talk to war counselor EG. I'm certain that there's something I have to do here. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well unto the very end. Lady Rani along the dark. Now Lady I pray that you I thought there would be more from you here. Um Do we have to like reset the area or something? Hold on, let me talk to you again. Well, as war comes, Lady Rani. Yeah, Lady Rani has departed on her journey. I think there's something else that we have to do, but I, I can't seem. I, I don't know where you find it. But basically, we have to talk to Blaze now. Blade, Blaze, that guy. We have to talk to that guy now. I don't know where he is though. And I thought E.G. would tell me where Blade is, but maybe not. Let me go um, wander this area a little bit and see if I can find him. He might just be at like one of the rises. He could be at Sil Siluvius's rise, who, I mean, he died a long time ago. Who the heck knows? Uh, but he could be up here at like the entrance to this one, because we've, we've already explored this rise. It's not here. And if I don't find him, you know, then I'll just continue on with what else I was going to do today. But we'll check out Ronnie's Rise. There was the dragon here, which we did kill. Well, we killed this dragon in the uh, southern plateau area. Hello. The heck? Oh, it's a, it's a freaking black knife assassin. Lied the half wolf. Someone's in love. Uh oh. <laughs> Code maiden welcome says I too am trying to find the freaky fakeal fancier. That'll be next. I gotta I gotta deal with this guy first. This 
Excuse me. Look. If, oh, oh, I didn't expect that to come out. Something tried to hit me. If all he does is, is swing a big sword, I'm less impressed. Let me heal up again. <laughs> I've done this a little poorly. He did not yell at me this time around. He tried to smack me with a sword. Excuse me, rude. He tried to, I think, I think that was a grapple attempt. Okay, you got me. Sorry, Blade. Royal Greatsword, Armor, Gauntlets, Greaves. We already had his helmet, I think. I forgot where we got it from, but okay. I don't know why there are so many Black Knight Assassins here. Time for sadness. I guess, were they sent to kill Ronnie or to kill Blade? Or Blyde? Did uh, Ronnie send them to try to deal with Blyde because she knew that he was going to be a little bit of an annoyance? Or was he protecting Ronnie? Or did he just go crazy and berserk and kill the co-conspirators because these guys were, uh, you know, I think she was working with the Black Knife assassins when she went to kill Godwin? I don't know, but we got him. <laughs> we got him, ladies and gentlemen. We picked up a new Royal Greatsword, Colossal Sword, Favorite weapon of Blade, the Half-Wolf. In defiance of the fate he was born to, Blade swore to serve no master but Ronnie. As proof, the sword was imbued with a cold magic at the moment the oath was sworn. Wolf's Assault. Som somersault, plunge it into the ground, pull it out, release a cold blast. It's the move that he just did. It's also a 22 intelligence sword. Something tells me. Blade was not using this for its intelligence, <laughs> its intelligence ability, but still fun. I mean, that's a pretty cool move, you gotta admit. All right. Now, I think, whoops, sorry about that. Go talk to Iggy again. Ronnie basically betrayed him. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know what the whole story is about what's going on with this, but did she betray him? Or is, is Blyde just a little bit of a, little bit of a weeb, you know, saying, only I could be the one that serves you, Ronnie. How could you do this to me? When really I just, I, I completed Ronnie's quest. You know, she is now traveling amongst the stars or out on her adventure. Had, she had to do it alone. She didn't want to take EG along either. EG's not, you know, having a fit. He's saying, my job is done. I did what I meant to do. Greetings, my unthinkable. How could Blythe? Maybe this will explain it. How did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani, yet even in madness gave himself to her. I made a grave misjudgment, and I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. Blythe. So yeah, so it seems like, seems like he just, it seems like the wolf just loved Ronnie. She didn't love him, and she went out on her own adventure, solo, which she had to do, and he's like, no! I've been betrayed, how could you do this to me, Ronnie? Come back to me! Yeah, he's definitely simping for sure. <laughs> uh, and then, hold on, I think we just do this. And more Black Knife Assassins. Another couple of them. EG's bell bearing and his mirror helm.
Why is it always death? So I am noticing all of these damn assassins. Did they kill Eiji or did he kill himself after dealing with the assassins? Maybe he just decided to let himself go. I don't know. But Black Flame does tell me that, you know, maybe these guys had something to do with it. They probably got to him. Hmm. Because, yeah, I remember uh, something, something. I remember reading that. Blade was stuck in a cell. We had to find him, but I guess I guess because we did the quest in a particular fashion He probably broke out because he said how did he get out of his cell? But yeah, he I don't think I don't think he I don't think EG killed himself I think if anything he probably took a few of the assassins out with him and then just like let him kill him probably anyways That's sad. That's done though <laughs> And now where to? Well, we could go back up to the mountaintop of the giants, but you know what I want to do? I actually kind of want to go underneath Lindale. I want to find the devious dung slurper and try to find out what uh, his whole deal is, because I know there's a whole quest line involving him, I'm pretty sure. But I do need to find, I'm not gonna fight you. Do need to find the way over to the well, which I think is over here. Yeah, no, it's not this way, because this is where we fought one of the big old worms. How do we get over there? Dracula says, E.G. locked Blythe in his cell because he knew Blythe would go insane when Ronnie went her own way. Prob that makes sense. That I could believe that. He did say, uh, well, how did he get out of the cell? So E.G. knew that, that um, that's where Blythe was, I suppose. And then also, he said he misjudged him and that he was... Uh, Wrought with madness, so I'm sure that I'm sure that he knew everything. Really? I'm sure he knew enough, anyways. Black knives don't really use black fire. Well, I was actually thinking about that. Black fire was the Godskin Apostles, right? I don't remember what the Black Knife Assassins used though. I thought they did use fire though at the same time. Maybe maybe not though. Maybe they used something else. Maybe it was just bleed and frost the two times I fought them. I don't remember. Anyways, if you want to know the story, you go freaking look it up on <laughs> the Dark Souls Wikipedia. I don't know the freaking story. All I know is they're dead. They're dead, and I killed them. Little delay on that one. You're not gonna fool me twice. Black knife guys usually use something uh, involving the death rune. Is black fire not death? I don't know. There's so many rules to this freaking world. Okay, this is where we need to go, though. Get out of here, old Binarok. All right. Let's do it. Let's go to... Uh, put on a freaking... Freaking uh, lantern on our hip here. Let's go to the sewers underneath the Glendale Palace Castle area. I forgot what was here when we came here, uh, came through here once. We came through here once, decided I didn't want to do it yet.
Now we're here to actually do it. There's another rat. Can't go this way. I think the destined death damage that the Black Knife Assassins use show up as Blood Red Fire, says Segus Jr. Well... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna understand it. I don't understand the freaking plot in this game. Subterranean Shunning Grounds. So we're gonna have to go up and then come back down at some point. In fact, there might be a hole right there on the top side. You never know. There's a dude, there's two dudes down there. Uh, it would be nice to have a another torch out just to help with the visibility. I'd have to do it like this though. You know what? Screw that. I'll just roll double swords for a little while. Also, I'm pretty sure these guys are really tough. But we gotta kill them at some point. There's also three of them. And they are pretty tough, but I guess if you just keep attacking them, they can't really do much. The heck? There is something over there. To end the torches. I don't even have I don't even have all the torches. I know that you can get more torches. Torches that have like effects and magic abilities on them, but I don't know where they are. I find it amusing that that guy did not see me. Excuse me. The, are these the omen killers that I've heard so much about and uh, never remember their names or what they look like? I think these are the omen because they they have horns just all around their bodies. That sounds about right. This summoning pool is now functional. You hear that? There's something on the other side of the door, I can hear it. Also, message was appraised. Tell me, was it dung ahead? Try finger butthole? Which message was it? Which one? Cosbringer says horns equal omen. I've got a couple of their large swords, too. First off, ahead, here. Not on me. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of their omen swords. Golden rune. Blood-soaked manchettes and the blood-soaked mask. Mask formed from tightly wound bandages soaked through with blood. Even the most ghastly cover is more inviting than the festering face beneath. Oh boy. Oh my. What the heck's wrong with my eyes? Why are my eyes reptilian? What happened to me? What the heck? You see that? I haven't looked at my face in a long time because I've had this uh, eyeless wolf head on. When the heck did my eyes become reptilian? There's more of them in there. That's from eating dragon hearts? I did buy a bunch of dragon incantations. Hmm. I didn't know that buying magical spells that I never use make my eyes turn 
Reptilian. That's funny. But no, no one else just spend the money buying the spells, even if they're, you're not going to use them? I was the only one? All right. There's a lot of stuff up there. I hear... You hear that? <laughs> I hear something up there. I do hear it. A lot of pipe work here. That's a dragon claw weapon of some sort. Rude. Um, there's another one. No! Uh, that's not the direction I rolled in. <laughs> that's not the direction I rolled in at all. <laughs> uh, I should have just like grabbed a... I should have just grabbed a... Uh, fire pot or something and just thrown it. All right, take two, hold on. I'm scared. First things first. Oh, why am I doing it like this? Why did I do it like that? <laughs> why did I do it like that? <laughs> No, 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 I got an idea, I got an idea. I do have an idea. You know what I should do? And I should have done this a long time ago. I'm gonna Ash of War, change this one. We're gonna make it, not Crag Blade, I want... Gravitas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... Eruption was pretty fun, too. Seppuku. <laughs> what does this even do? Increases attack power and improves ability to inflict blood loss. Now, just give me Gravitas and then... Let's see. Damage, damage, 40 damage. Heavy is pretty good. Keen is pretty bad. Quality is not that good. Magic is just magic damage, which is honestly nice just to have it. Or cold for cold damage. E strength. Yeah, give me um give me a cold. Then swap these around. So now I can just do this. When I want. <laughs> so I have something that I can use to deal with the uh, crowds. Give this a shot. Now just run. Is there like a force bubble ash of war? Like that gives you a bubble shield or that like bubbles the enemies? Don't worry, I got an idea. I got a plan. Here's my plan.
I don't know, that seemed to have worked all right. <laughs> oh, what the? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to go deal with you then. I was also thinking, yes, maybe being able to, like, pull enemies into... Oh, that's fine. Being able to pull enemies in, like, off of the ledge could be fun, but I guess the range isn't quite as large as it would need to be. Now, the Starcaller Swords, the, the Radon Swords, those would probably get the job done. Okay, I gotta stop dying to imps, though. <laughs> Imps are not the hardest enemy, but I am trying to like rush to my souls so that I can make sure that I, I, I don't lose them. Now we're, oh my god, they're all the way over there. Almost worked. Almost worked. Hold on. I gotta remember to actually attack, too. Hello. Heal up. This place sucks. <laughs> we know that it sucks. Just hit him. Turns out when you just attack, it's pretty good. But if I see if I see one of these guys on the edge of a ledge and I know I can hit him with the AOE, I can do it. Maybe that guy, although with this guy, I think what I'm gonna do actually is just this. Yeah, see you later. I may have added a few blood stains to this area. I can do it too. Sorry, I forgot to do this. <laughs> Here. I don't know what that is. But I do hear the twinkling of there's a creature here, but I don't know where he is. Seek suffering. It's this guy again. I saw you a minute ago. Someone thinks he's God of War. I don't even know what hit you on that one. <laughs> uh. Uh, you know what? We gotta go down. That's where you gotta go. Let's go this way first, though. Let's go up. Be wary of left. Be wary of left. Huh? I guess we've seen this before. We were just here like seconds ago on the other side of the grate. Dude, cold on the sword? I didn't expect it to actually like land the cold effect that quickly, but I, I like it. I appreciate it. Maybe fire would work better. I wonder if Omen Guy's shadow bait are weak to any particular ailment. Uh, sh sorry, shadow bait. Creates a shadow that lures the aggression of foes of human build. This incantation can be cast while in motion or crouching. And will still affect foes already in a combat state. Oh, they got a statue of Jesus.
He did, like, this guy didn't even care that he was being attacked. He's like, I'm just here for the loot. Bleed for sure, Keck. I actually, uh, I don't think I can put bleed on it. I think I can only put cold, fire, and keen. On this, uh, on this sword. I believe. Must be up there, but I don't know how to get up there. Oh! Oh, goody! <sighs> Time for prawn. You know what? There you go. Because this is exactly what I want to be fighting right now. Prawn! No. Thank you. Running required ahead. Is that a... That's another freaking prawn. Okay. <sighs> Can't say I'm particularly happy or enthused to be fighting a uh, lobster. Really? Like, you don't care at all? <sighs> Lobster is stronger than destined death. I don't want to fight lobsters. He knows exactly where I am, though. No, he doesn't. He's a dumb lobster. Oh, kidding me! I can't believe the one that was underground didn't see me. Or saw me, and the one that was above ground didn't see me. I don't even know how to fight lobsters. How do you fight a crustacean? White flesh. Now's your turn, buddy. You fight him with boiling water and lots of it. How did you not see me, but your freaking friend did? Ow. Ow. I'm gonna rip you open and eat your meat. Told you I got a strip of white flesh. Be wary of left. That's a wall. Poor message. <laughs> They're weak to sleep. You can put them to sleep. I guess there was, someone uh, a while back said, you should maybe think about upgrading Trina's sword or whatever it is, because it can put enemies to sleep. Dude, I'm an idiot! Tr Trinia's Lily, that crafting item, that probably has like sleep properties, like sleep recipes. Ah, you could probably jump to that pipe. As an easier way down. This is going to explode. Nope. I love how Abe did panic rolling and lobster waiting to hit him. Look, I, get, I can tank some hits. I'll tank some hits if I, if I can. So I don't have to fight all these damn lobsters. Moog's Shackle. 
believe that's here. Briefly binds Moog, once imprisoned, to Earth. A fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power enough to trap the once bound Moog on Earth, if only for a short time. This is a reusable item, just like Margit's shackle. Saw the Omen Bairn, which I haven't really used at all, and the Infant's Head, which is a magic flamethrower. That is not a torch. Redactless says, I never cared for the sword. Just use sleep pots. I think you need int for Saint Trina, and I'm too dumb to wield it. That's a good point. Pots would probably do it too. Lost grace discovered. You know what? We're not going to backtrack through that area. Let's rest. I don't like resting if I think I'm going to have to backtrack, but... I don't see a need to. I don't think I see a need to anyways. Unless I really want to fight lobsters. It's Anima Sola, lol. It does ring a bell. Dude, this is a dungeon. What the hell? Door. Locked by a contraption with the symbol of the aired tree on the door. This is interesting. I didn't expect there to actually just be a dungeon here. I don't have any holy pots. I don't know if I can keep them down for good with holy pots. Are, are, maybe these are not the enemies that respawn. Oh, oh, oh! Really, there's stairs that lead up to the wall and everything. Dun, 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 dun. Wary of right. <gasps> I mean, I can I can see his head. He's right there. He's standing guard. Toxic mushroom and a ghost glove wart. Beautiful. He just wanted a hug. Be wary of explosion. That guy is just burning. Be wary of right. This guy is on fire. I hear him. These are the ones that just want hugs. Oh my god, the AoE on that was insane. Hello. I gotta know. You probably blew up. I don't know what happened to you. Maybe you did blow up. Maybe not. Those shackles can trigger traps from a distance. Yeah, I've heard that the, um, like, Margit shackle or some of the shackle items can actually, um, be used to destroy chariots. Which is strange. Please burn him. Alright. Try up! No, really! Oh, 
Up required ahead. No, really. <laughs> Just another omen guy. Not a big deal. Just one? Dude, if it's just one. Oh god. <laughs> the shackles also reveal secret room says for Dacula. What? No way. Crucible scale talisman. Crucible? I love the Crucible Knights. Reduces damage taken from crits. A talisman fashioned from a scale that embodies the aspect of various creatures said to have grown on the human body. On the human body? Looks like a freaking teratoma. A vestige of the crucible of primordial life born partially of devolution. It was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but is now increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. Just like the appendix. The range on them is really good. You could check every wall in any room with one shackle. But then you'd have to um, go to the bonfire in order to reuse it, right? Because it would only have one use. I think. Still, I see the value of um, an item that might let you check for secret rooms on the quick. Because I could like use it in this room. I've got two of them, too. One from Margit and one from Moog. Who have we not seen yet? Or... No, it was Mar Margit and Margot are the two that we fought. Moog, I guess we haven't seen yet. You can spam it! Really? Hold on. So you're t you're telling me that if I go here and I say Moog Shackle, and I do one of these, I haven't rested at a bonfire. This is a new location that looks exactly like the other one that we were in. And I do one of these and I say, okay. I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> you can spam it though. You can definitely spam it. Hmm. I mean, they already gave up the ghost on this one because I know that this is a new area because these guys don't seem to actually regenerate. So why were there new bodies down here? And I would have grabbed the thing from the middle pedestal. So this is a new spot. Um, this is, you know, quote, in theory, where the beginning of the area was. This should be a way out. Oh, wait, it's not. There's root resin. There you go, take one of those. Uh, but this does seem like there might be 
Oh, it's not even a boss. It's just another omen killer. Or omen. Luckily, your friend doesn't seem to care about the fact that I'm beating your ass. an item which is a golden rune good friends don't fight your battles for you dude putting cold on this sword has done a, a very good job I'm surprised that it's able to inflict that much cold really so this is where we drop down in so we, I I'm just gonna try to come up with a bit of a, a bit of a um, internal map for this area. We're now in B side. And as a result of being in B side, we've not actually gone up here. Just looking, just looking. I don't know what you are though. Oh, you're just an imp. A very long drop, don't fall. Cosbringer says, I like this type of stuff. It reminds me of Mario's Lost Castle. I also like this type of stuff. It's very, um, yeah, let's go down. It's very uh, puzzly and confusing, which I love. No confusion ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know if I love it anymore. Lever ahead. There is the lever. And this this is A-side. Yeah, this is A-side. So, I, I see what they were doing. They're trying to confuse you. They gave you the hint. The hint was that these enemies respawn and then there was a, a ghost glove war in the middle there. The hint was, hey, is this a side that you have been to or that you've not been to? Although there is a guy down there. Maybe they do respawn, actually. Maybe this is Seaside, I don't know. You know what, why don't we go down here and find out? No, I think, in actuality, he was probably up a little bit. And uh, maybe fell down earlier or something, because I don't remember. I remember him spitting from up there. That's probably what happened. So there's still a little bit to explore. Myra's last castle, you know, 8-4. I don't remember. Yeah, he was just a straggler. Rude. Okay, stop lighting yourself on fire so much. <laughs> They've definitely done a good job with layout, because it, it does feel like this is the uh, the same area you were in before, but it's definitely not. Message was appraised. Try finger butthole. It does make me wonder if... Um, 
Oh, you know what? I get what they did here. They put the bodies here as as though to say, you've been here before. You killed these enemies. <laughs> uh, I wonder where this side tunnel is going to going to lead you. Or if maybe once you do this right tunnel right here, if the jig is up and you actually know where you're, where you're going. Actually, you know what would be cool is if this dropped you back down. You see? They got up. If this dropped you back down on top of the A side, that would be cool. But then again, you would probably, well, maybe you wouldn't put two and two together. There's also a plant there that wasn't there before. They're, so they're putting hints down, which is cool. Try to look carefully and then clue ahead. I like this. There's one guy here with the body of the guy you killed earlier, as though to say, My brother! What happened to you? Although I can stand on this body. Can't stand on this one. Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. I like the one candle, too. Ah! Oh. Excuse me. So this is the A side drop. Which I think means that we are done with the exploration. Um, is this the A side drop? Yeah. I think so. No, this is. Wait a minute, is this seaside? Oh my god, there actually is a seaside. What? Now it's time for it to be ultra confusing. <laughs> There's a third side? Honestly, Ah, oh, no! Honestly, that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. It's extra confusing now. I can't take this. Where am I? Whose footprints are these? Another one of these statues. Who designed, like, who built this damn dungeon? Yeah, now they're really changing it up. They're like, there's not even a, uh, Spitty pillar here. It's just a dude. This dungeon and the one with the teleport chests were, were, were really fun, says Fredacula. I agree. These weirdo dungeons I'm having a lot of fun with. It moved the pillar. I heard it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I, I hear it moving the pillar like underneath me. Circling around, but why is it always circling around? Okay, so is this, which side is this do you think? This is this is Seaside, though. Oh, well, you know what, if it's Seaside, or no, this is B-side. So we go down here. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go back up to the cathedral and go out from there.
Seagus Jr. says, I'd be interested in seeing what this looks like with an out-of-bounds camera. Good point. Good question. Ali GH, welcome, by the way, to the stream. How's it going? Not enter the gungeon, but still some good content. I certainly hope so, because I'm having fun with this damn game. Even when it wants to ruin your brain. Yeah, this is this is A, I think. Are we there? I think we're there. Looks like Dark Souls. Spoilers, it is Dark Souls. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Probably should have rested first, but it's okay. It's only Eskar Priest. Who's actually Pyramid Head? He is highly aggressive. What the hell is happening? Well, you know what? A lot of running. Yo, pyramid head dogs are too aggressive. Too aggressive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Heal up. Dogs have been dealt with. Just you? Eskar Priest of Blood, your dogs make that kind of annoying. Please die. Thank you. Lord of Blood's egg exaltation. The Lord of Blood's exaltation. The Lord of Blood's Exaltation, which is there. Blood loss in vicinity increases attack power. Render up your offerings of blood to your lord. Drench my consort's chamber. Slake his cocoon's thirst. His awakening shall herald the dawn of our dynasty. Lord of Blood, was that Rykard? Was Rykard the Lord of Blood? Rikard may have been the Lord of Blood. I don't know. I don't remember. By the way, Goodster, <laughs> thank you very much for the gift subs that happened in the middle of that fight when I was fighting a bleed wizard with bleed dogs. Does that Gravity Ash combo into anything? That's a good question. Not that. Not that. Not that. Nope. The, um, there, there is a combo with the, a gravity power, but it's the Star Scourge Greatsword. This has a combo. Which, as you can imagine, does way more damage than Gravitas. But Gravitas is kind of, it did what I wanted it to do, kind of dealt with a little bit of AoE. Lord of Blasphemy, thank you, yes. Lord of Blasphemy is Rykard. Ripple Nimble says, Moog is the Lord of Blood. We I've heard a lot about Moog. Haven't 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 seen him yet. Haven't uh really gotten too much lore uh that's not just from like equipment and whatnot. There you go. Let's continue on. <laughs> 